Hello and welcome back to another plan with me video. I'm Laurel and this month we are setting up December. So I started off with a watercolor painting. I wanted the theme of this month to mirror some washi tape that were given to me by some of my very close friends. So I was inspired by those to do a kind of dark blue space theme. I don't know, space is cold, December is cold. <laughs> I just love space, maybe that's... I don't, I just wanted to use these washi tape. So there's a lot of washi tape in this setup. And honestly, it made it a lot easier. I spent a lot of time on this painting, of course, but then I didn't spend a whole lot of time doing doodles or drawings within the actual spreads. So, yeah. Sometimes you just gotta spend a lot of time on one thing and then not on the rest. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still pretty happy with how it turned out. This painting, it's right now it's at the point where <laughs> it looks really ugly before it looks better as all paintings, all paintings get that point when you're just like, ugh, I hate this. And then you just keep working and it gets better. At least that's my experience. Maybe other people paint and the whole time they're just like yes this is exactly what I wanted and this is exactly how I envisioned it but that is never my experience with doing art so I don't know tell me down below is that your experience because I guess more power to you so I really just used a mixture of blues and a little bit of greens and black for this piece. I am using my Paul Rubens watercolors as well as a white gouache which I used for the stars as well as some highlighted pieces that are a little bit more opaque. And I also use paper that's a little bit larger than my bullet journal and that way I can cut it down which does mean I lose a little bit of the detail that I put in to the original piece, but I do scan my artwork before I cut it and put it into my bullet journal, or at least that's something I have started to do. And so I do have the piece. I just put the original in my bullet journal because I don't really have a good enough of a printer to really like print my artwork and have it be at the level that I would want it to be. So I'm still just kind of putting the original pieces in my bullet journal. Who knows, that might change over the next year or so, but it's nice to have just a little piece in there that has all the texture and it gives my notebook some girth, which is fun as well. Here I am just kind of flicking. I tried a few different ways of flicking and I did get it all over my desk, but it's just squash, so it washes off super easy. Then later I do go in with my white gel pen and add more stars. Gotta clean up that workspace. All right, so here we are in the actual journal. I have a quote page and then on the right side of that is where I will paste my painting. And for this, I really just used my, oh my gosh, Crayola Super Tips. And I have one Tombow that I'm using, which is that really light blue color. 
that you can barely see on camera but is really pretty in real life and I really just I like pairing that with these darker blues blue is one of my favorite colors so I really really love having all blue spreads they just they make me happy and this quote is by I believe Christopher Poindexter it's actually a poem not a quote I guess yeah I just I really don't know much about Christopher Poindexter I really just searched for you know kind of space quotes <laughs> that wasn't my exact search but pretty much and it says she stared at the stars like they were pillows for her mind and in their light she could rest her heavy head and I just thought it was really sweet the first of the washi tapes is down I love this washi tape so pretty it's got like a cool ombre effect it's got those metallic stars and here we go so many dots I cut out so much of this because wow it took a long time <laughs> I have a couple like shooting stars in there as well and then I left that over to the side while I finished the rest of my spreads and I made a huge mistake in my calendar. <laughs> See if you can catch it before I do, because it takes me a while to catch it. I, I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking when I set this up. I guess I just didn't count correctly, but, oh, and then this washi tape, it's got the moon phases on it, but then it's also got this like holographic effect. And then there's this washi tape, this skinny boy, which, hooey, that gave me trouble to place and continues to give me trouble to place throughout the rest of the video. But I love it and I love how shiny it is and I love the rainbow effect. So, you know what? I just, I went for it. And then I wrote out December and then I put some you know white dots in it and then also colored in some of those white dots with my other pens and then there's this like galaxy washi tape all right if you haven't found the mistake by now this is when i find it i'm like wait wait <laughs> there's not six days in a week what are you thinking there's seven days. If, if you didn't know, there's seven days in the week. So, after some brainstorming, <laughs> I fixed it. I added some more boxes, put on some washi tape, and used that same jelly roll as little dots for the dates instead of the numbers. <laughs> And then I put these lines of the dark blue at the very top and wrote the days inside them with my white gel pen. And there we go. Nothing happened. What are you talking about? I can count. It's fine. <laughs> it, yeah, I was very frustrated with myself, but I figured it out. Problem solving. It's, it's all good. And then really just committing to the shine this time. Really committing to it. I love it. And here's my mood tracker. I usually make my mood trackers pretty large. I usually put like several moods in a day because I can't. I, I don't know. I can't just be like, oh, today I was just mostly happy I'm like yeah I was happy until I got really upset and then I was just meh for the rest of the night and that's 
that's like always how I track my moods. So we'll see if this gets me to just kind of decide on a mood for the day or not. I'm outlining all these little stars in these two jelly roll colors, the light blue and a darker blue. They're so shiny, so pretty. I used them on my self-care spread as well. If you want to go check that out, I'll have it linked up above. And yeah, and then I made a little key for my moods so that I know I know what, what I'm putting in there. And then I also went in and numbered all of them. Last month I did I didn't number and I I didn't do as well with tracking, so I think I need the numbers. And then for my habits tracker, oh yeah, I, I'm just using a colorless blender and it works fine with the Crayola Super Tips. And yeah, I love I love how that looks. So I put that down on the wrong line and then I had to pull it all the way up again. I don't know why this skinny washi tape is so hard to place, but it's hard. It's very hard, but it's so pretty. Look at all those shines. Alfie literally catapulted his body <laughs> into my bullet journal like he does. He just wanted some attention. And <laughs> he's just a goof. What a goof. And again, I haven't, I haven't changed this from last month. I've got my habits that I want to track. And then I also have energy and activity. This month, I am not doing a symptoms tracker. I'm over it. I'm done thinking about it. I need a break. <laughs> so instead, I'm just moving on to my brain dump and video planner. And Alfie, again, just really wanted to hang out. So, you know, he's helping. He's just helping. I like to have a little space specifically for planning videos and video ideas just because sometimes I think of things and then I forget about them and it's nice to have them written down. And yeah, very simple. Just a bunch of washi tape. And then for my weekly, I put eight days, you know, to make up for the six days that I put on my calendar. <laughs> No, it's because I usually start my weeklies on Monday and the month starts on a Sunday. So I wanted to have the full week on the spread and it made it nice and even too. So I was like, well, that's fine. And then I just have space up top for events or notes if I need to write stuff or if I want to put some pictures or washi tape or whatever when the week is done. And I haven't put anything there because who knows? Sometimes I write a lot and sometimes I do not. And just pasting in my piece. And this is, this is it. This is the final flip through. And despite my mistakes, which there were a lot of this month, I really, really like these spreads. They're really shiny and sparkly and just nice to look at without having to put a ton of time and effort into them. So if you liked this video, give it a like and a subscribe and I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye.